This video is going to show you how to quickly program the radio line wireless system for PLC mode. In this setup, you will configure two radio line wireless modules with expandable I.O. as repeater sleeves that will communicate to a radio line wireless master module acting as a Modbus RTU gateway to a PLC. To begin, set up the first wireless module as a master by setting the yellow thumb wheel to 01 and pressing the set button for one second. Next, set the second wireless module to a repeater sleeve by selecting the yellow thumb wheel to 02. Address the I.O. module attached to the wireless module by setting the white thumb wheel to 01. Press the set button for one second to read in the thumb wheel settings. Lastly, configure the third wireless module to a repeater sleeve by setting the yellow thumb wheel to 03. Address the I.O. module attached to the wireless module by setting the white thumb wheel to 02. Press the set button for one second to read in the thumb wheel settings. All the modules are now wirelessly linked. Now use the PSI Comp software to configure the wireless modules to PLC mode. Our simple programming wizard will help you do this. First, select the module that you are using, which is the 900 MHz radio line module. Create a new project. Click on New. Select Line Mesh Mode and hit OK. Next, set the number of sleeves to 0 and the number of repeater sleeves to 2 and hit OK. On this screen, you'll see the number of wireless modules in the network and how they are configured. Click on the Next button. On this network configuration page, you can configure parameters like data rate, wireless application, RF band, network ID, and frequency blocking. I am going to set the wireless application to PLC mode and leave the Modbus address at 1. This will be the address our host device will use to communicate to the master wireless module. Click Next. Next, configure the settings for the serial connection between the host device and the master wireless module. This will vary from application to application. Set to RS-485-9600-891. Click Next. This screen shows you the network overview of the parameters configured in the previous screens. Click Next. Now we will send the configuration to the wireless modules on the network. Click the Transfer button. You will get a prompt to save your configuration to a known folder. Since the wireless modules are wirelessly linked, you can use the Comfort Transfer option to send the configuration over the air to each unit. Once the configuration is complete, there will be flashing red arrow lights on the remote wireless modules and the I.O. modules because there is no Modbus communication. Now, connect the PLC to the serial port of the master wireless module. The preloaded PLC program will start flashing the LEDs on the I.O. connected to the remote wireless modules. The error lights will stop, which indicates that you have successful Modbus communication. You now have a fully functional wireless system. The master wireless module is acting as a Modbus gateway between the PLC and the remote nodes. The PLC communicates to that single Modbus address configured in the master wireless module and the master wireless module then communicates to all the remote I.O. This enables fast and easy communication between controller and remote I.O. For more information on the Radio Line wireless system, please visit phoenixcontact.com slash radioline.